the principal layout of this offline coating system that we unwind at this station here. We pass underneath into the Corona system. Underneath this roll here. Up into the rotor carrier, which is presently running, pumping chemical, but not spraying. From there we go up through this smoothing roll. Through the dryers. Over. And wound. The control station that operates the system is up against the wall. This is not your typical control station since it is responsible for this entire off-line coder. Right, we're going to go ahead and engage the Corona system by turning on the line and allowing the unit to start spraying. Normally at this position we would have a collector tray capturing any spray that were to pass around or through a web. Since we have taken that out for the purposes of making this film, we have masked off the sides that go beyond the normal and standard width adjustment. Okay, let's, then, uh, let's turn the system on. What you hear in the background is the hot air blower. The infrared system is engaged as well. We're going to go ahead and engage the line even though the dryer hasn't totally turned on. The Corona system, now that the line is operational, is engaged visible by this beautiful purplish light. At present we are spraying onto the web. before the droplets come through the smoothing section. We're going to a spreader roll. And here the droplets are before the smoothing and then after the smoothing. You can see the droplets totally disappear. In the event a line breakage, what would normally happen is that the smoothing roll would disengage as so. And then the spray would normally shut off, but we're doing this to simulate what it actually looks like. With it spraying. Okay, smoothing roll engages. And immediately, we have a nice enclosed layer of the chemical on the surface of the film. If in the event a line breakage were to occur or the machine were to shut off, we would turn off the smoothing roll and close the shutter. 
of the rotor carrier. Let's see. Shutter closes, smoothing roll disengages. The machine is at a stop. If we were ready to engage again, we would start spraying first. The spray starts to spray, the line begins to move. Once the line is wet, the smoothing roll engages. From this angle, we can now see the droplets on the sheet and a layer of chemical between the smoothing roll and the sheet so that the smoothing roll is not in direct contact with the plastic sheet. covers over the rotor section to keep any chemical from potentially contaminating the belt. This is with the shutters open on the rotor carrier, allowing a good view of the insides of the rotor carrier. Normally we would uh, have the width adjustment pushed all the way over as we do on the other side, to keep the spray from going beyond the sheet. I'm going to show how it looks with the shutter closed would happen either if the machine is out of operation or the machine came to a line stop or a sheet break.